Good morning. We had the most interesting evening last night here at church. We had an international night banquet. Everyone in our church was invited to bring along a favorite food from the country of their ancestry. That means the country they come from. I know many of us were born here in the United States, but most of us have another country where our grandparents or great-grandparents live before moving to America. The foods from other countries are often very different from what we are used to eating here. It was so much fun to see and taste the different foods that were brought in. And when we talk about other countries, sometimes we try to determine what country is better than another. But that is never a good thing to do. God loves all of us the same. He offers salvation to all of us, no matter what country we're from. Romans chapter 10 verse 13 tells us, Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Faith is not something that is only for people from certain countries who speak certain languages. Faith is God's gift of belief in Christ for the forgiveness of sins, life, and salvation. And it is something that is available to all. I better finish gathering the garbage from the banquet last night. You'll want to meet the special guest that Miss Lisa has with her today. I'll give you a little clue. She came from the banquet last night with her favorite food called churros. Hello, everyone. I have someone new to introduce to you. This is Susanita. Hola! I forgot to tell you that Susanita just moved here to the United States. She understands English but is still learning to speak English. So you will have to be patient. Donde estamos? Where are we? We are here at Kids Crossing. Hola, amigos! She said, hello, friends. Como se llama Tortador? Oh, she said, what is your name? Susanita, there are many children watching us, but I have an idea. I will count to three, and then the children watching can call out their names. Okay? No. What is, what's wrong? Uno, dos, tres. Oh, you want to count to three in Spanish. Actually, that's a good idea. Muy bien. Yes, very good. Muy bien. Susanita, you can count to three in Spanish. And then all of you watching, call out your names for Susanita. Okay. Uno, dos, tres. Gracias, gracias, amigos. Thank you, friends. Janitor Bob mentioned that we had an international banquet last night. La noche. <laughs> that means at night. It was fun. Me gusta. <laughs> you see, yes, she said she liked it. Mucho. <laughs> A lot. Learning about other countries and other people is always fun. In fact, I think that the more we learn about other people from other countries, the more we learn about God. It's amazing to think that God understands every language. Entienden español? Does God understand Spanish? Si, sí, Susanita. Yes, God understands Spanish. God is all-knowing. He understands everything that we say. He even understands the things that we think. In Psalm 139, we read, O oh Lord, you have examined my heart. You know everything about me. You know when I sit, when I stand up. You know my thoughts, even when I am far away. God loves all of us. He wants all of us to have faith in Him. It's His gift to us, and it's for everyone. No entiendo. 
you don't understand, Susanita? Sometimes it is hard to understand how much God loves us, but he is patient with us. He hears our prayers. He wants us to ask, ask for help. And he sends the Holy Spirit to help us understand. We learn more about God every week here on Kids Crossing as well. Cristo me ama? Does, does Jesus love you? Of course Jesus loves you, Susanita. Jesus loves all of us, and he wants us to know that, which is why we have the Bible, la Biblia. See, si, la Biblia, that's how to say the Bible in Spanish. Maybe you could say it with us, la, la Biblia. Can you try? Cristo me llama. Um, I just answered that question, Susanita. See, si, Jesus loves you. No, Cristo me llama. Oh, you're talking about the song, Jesus Loves Me. Si, Cristo me llama. Would you like to sing it for us? Ahora, si? Yes, now. You can sing it right now, Susanita. Si, Cristo me llama. Si, Cristo me llama. Si, Cristo me llama, la Biblia dice así. Very good. Muy bien. Gracias. De nada. I'll tell you what. Why don't you sing it one more time? And maybe some of the girls and boys want to sing along. En español? Well, we'll tell them the words in Spanish and then have them repeat them with us. And then we'll try to sing it all together in Spanish. But if you would rather sing in English, that's okay too. Or if you know another language, you could sing it in any language. Because remember, Jesus understands all languages. Ne llama Cristo. See, I love Jesus too. Now, Susanita will say the words in Spanish, and then I will repeat them with all of you. Ready? Si. Cristo me llama. Si. Cristo me llama. We sing that three times, of course, okay? Now, the last line, Susanita. La Biblia dice así. Repeat with me. La Biblia Dice así. Now, are you ready to sing it with us? Here we go. Si Cristo me llama. Si Cristo me llama. Si Cristo me llama. La Biblia dice así. Thank you. Gracias. Adios. Amigos! <laughs> yes, goodbye, friends. We'll see you next time. Hasta la vista! It's fun to meet someone from another country and learn a little about how life is different. Perhaps some of you have just moved here from another country. Well, then you know what Susanita is feeling like. Or maybe you have visited another country and felt out of place. During those times, it is always good to remember that God's love never changes. He's the same no matter what country we live in. Sometimes we forget that. Sharing the gospel is something that Jesus wants all of us to do. He commanded us to go and tell others. In fact, I think I heard Miss Susan talking about a book she wanted to share with you which tells that story. Good morning. What a wonderful day. I have some flowers here today. They are so beautiful. Mm, and they smell so good. Each flower is completely different and special in its own way. God designed each flower to be unique. No one flower is better than the other, and they are all flowers, no matter their size, shape, or color. 
How boring it would be if God had only created one type of flower. You know, that is the same with us. God created each of you to be different and to be unique. There is no one just like you. He made all people in different sizes, different colors, and with different abilities. And He loves each of you just the way you are. He doesn't love just one kind of person. That is why He sent Peter to talk to Cornelius. Peter was able to tell Cornelius that you didn't have to be a Jew to be a child of God. It isn't about how you look or who your parents are. It's about what's in your heart. It is about believing in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. The story I chose for today is about God's command for us to share God's love with everyone. Just like Peter, we are supposed to tell everyone about Jesus. The title of our book is The Great Commission. Jesus said, Go and Tell. When Jesus rose up from the dead, he went to meet his friends. For 40 days he talked with them and shared with them his plans. He sent them to a mountainside up away in Galilee, and when he met them at that place, he said, Listen to me. My father said these words to me, I give to you all might, all rule and all authority to do as you see right. All creatures in the heavens above and on the earth below, shall do God's will and honor Him, and at His bidding go. And that's the reason why I say, you have a job to do. Today I'll tell you what I've planned, the work I have for you. I call you all my followers, disciples whom I love. I gave my life so you could live with me in heaven above. But you are not the only ones I want to be my own. I want to see the whole world stand rejoicing at God's throne. Go out into the whole wide world, every tribe and nation, to every country, every land, all God's good creation. Go to all people everywhere and tell them about me. Give them the gift I gave to you, disciples they will be. Tell them the story how God came to be a man like them, to live, to suffer, and to die, and then to rise again. Tell them that all who trust in me have their sins forgiven. They're God's children here on earth and evermore in heaven. Give them the word I gave to you. Baptize them in the name of Father, Son, and Spirit, who removes all sin and shame. Teach them to treasure my commands and everything I say. Give them my word so they may trust and know God's living way. And I am with you, don't forget. I won't leave you alone. I'll stay with you until you stand before my heavenly throne. Until the heavens and the earth shall fade and pass away. Until the day that I return to take you home to stay. So Jesus spoke and then returned to be with God in heaven. His followers rejoiced to hear his great commission given. He told us, go, and so we go, to neighbors far and near, to share the wonderful good news that takes away our fear. And Jesus keeps his promise too, be with us every day. He helps us know the way to show his love through what we say. And on that day when he returns, we'll celebrate and sing with people come from everywhere to praise our Lord and King. Jesus told his disciples to go tell everyone the good news about how he died on the cross and rose again. He didn't say to tell only certain people. He wants us to tell everyone. And here at Kids Crossing, we are trying to tell as many people as we can about Jesus. You can do it too. God made each of you different in your own special way, just like he made each of these flowers different. God loves you no matter what you look like, how much money you have, where you live, or what language you speak. He loves you just the way you are. 
And because God loves you, you can show God's love to others. It's what God wants us to do. I hope now when you see flowers, you remember how much God loves you and how he made each of you special just the way you are. Blessings to you on your week. Thank you, Susan. I think it's so comforting to know that God's love for us is not dependent on what we do or how we live or what we eat or what country we come from. God's love for us is so amazing. We will never be able to understand how big it is. But through His words in the Bible, we learn more and more about His great love. I'm so amazed by God's love that I, I want everyone to know how much He loves us. Oh, oh, hi, Pastor. Oh, what are you eating? Oh, hi, Jemima. Hi, Lisa. I'm getting ready to eat some leftover bratwurst from International Night. My wife made some because we both have a little German in us. Oh, I see. Um, um, where, where is German? At. Well, well, the country is called Germany, and it is in Europe across the ocean. Oh, that, that, that's a long way away. Yes, it is. But that's what the whole night was about, showing that God loves everyone no matter where they are from, near or far. Oh, 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 yeah. Hey, 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 say, Pastor, do, do, do you want any left all the dino tweets for your meal? I, I, I doing them so long. <laughs> you know, Jemima, I think this will be enough. I don't know if dino treats really go with bratwurst anyways. Well, you know what? I, I think they go with Everything. <laughs> I'm sure you do, but that's what we've all learned. We're all different people with different talents and different tastes. But, but, but hey, if, if God loves us, us all the same, why are we so different? And, and, and why do, do different things happen to different people, even dad sings sometimes. Hmm. Well, you know, first of all, being different isn't a bad thing. If we were all the same, that would be so boring. <laughs> and it wouldn't be very helpful either. If everyone was a plumber, who would you call when the electricity went out? God gives all of us different things that we are good at so we can help others. Exactly. Different is a good thing. That is why we had our International Night. We celebrated that people come from different places and like different things and do things in different ways, and that isn't bad. Yeah, it, it, it's nice to be different. And, and we need girls and boys and dinosaurs, and we need pastors and teachers and students. Yeah, and just because bad things happen to us, that doesn't mean God doesn't love us. Look at Peter, who we learn about today. Did God love him? Well, well, well of course. He, he, he was his dis, 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 disciple, dis, 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 disciple, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and bad things happen to him. We don't always know why God lets bad things happen, but we do know one thing. We know He still loves us because He gave us Jesus and let bad things happen to Him. He died on the cross, and He died there for us to show how He loves the whole world. So, even though we are all different, God loves us all the same. Exactly. Here. Look at these utensils I have here. Each one does a different thing. Can I drink from my fork? No, that would be silly. Yes, it would. Can I cut with my cup? Well, well, you could try, but it would be messy. And you know what? And, and Lisa would tell you to stop playing with your food. 
<laughs> because he isn't using his utensils right. Exactly, because they all have different uses. But when I'm done with them, what do I do with them? Um, oh, 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 you put them in the dish bath. The well, I call it a dish washer. Oh, yeah. But, but, but I, I get wasted in the bath, though. Well, that's because you are not a dish. And that, that's a good thing. I'd be scared to be put in the dish bath. Um, um, I mean, wasser. Yeah, well, I don't think you have to worry about that. But my point is this. Even though all the utensils are different and they have different uses, in the end, they are treated the same. They're all washed in the dishwasher. And that is like us. We're all different and have different uses, but in God's eyes, he loves us the same. He sent Jesus to take our sins away, to clean us. Yeah, so no matter what happens or who you are, trust that Jesus loves you, is with you, and offers eternal life free of charge. Oh, 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 Dad, that sounds great. And, and, and we can tell it to anyone, no matter where they are from. <laughs> sure, we can. Because like we said, Jesus loves everyone. Well, we'll let you eat now, Pastor. Goodbye. Bye. I'm glad that God made all of us different. Because we are different, we can learn things from each other and, and help each other. I know that sometimes we're tempted to make fun of someone who is different, but, but it's never a good th idea to do that. We should take time to get to know them instead. You never know, you just might learn something new by spending time with, with people who are different from you, and, and that person will learn from you as, as well. And when we all work together, we are better at spreading God's love. just getting some information to show the kids at church about healthy eating. This sheet reminds us of what kind of foods we should put on our plate at mealtime. This blue circle reminds us that we should have a glass of milk with our meals. And this side shows us what we should have from the grains group, like a piece of yummy whole wheat bread. We also need some protein to help keep our muscles healthy. Protein is fish, chicken, hamburger, peanut butter, certain beans, and even eggs. Now, on the other side, it shows us that this small area is for the fruits, like a half a banana or half an apple. But the biggest area is covered with yummy vegetables. Sometimes it's hard to try and eat new veggies, but it is so important to at least try it. At my house, it helps if we can sprinkle a little cheese on warm veggies. Or it's always fun to have fresh carrots or celery right from the fridge. Next time you're at the grocery store, ask your mom or dad if you can pick out a new vegetable to try. God has created so many wonderful foods to fill our tummies and strengthen our bodies. And the choices that you have are endless. All this talking about food makes me want to get up and get moving. 
Let's step side to side and hands up and down. Today we heard that before Jesus came in here, there were rules about what people could and could not eat. But all that changed with Jesus. All people were able to come together and enjoy all the foods of God's creation. Now let's take two steps in one direction and move our arms out at the same. You are really getting the hang of this. Do you remember what five food groups we talked about earlier? First, there is the dairy group. Second, there is the grains group. Third, there is the protein group. Fourth, there is the fruit group. And fifth is the vegetable group. Let's do that again. First, there is the dairy group. Second is the grains group. Third is the protein group. Fourth is the fruit group. And fifth is the vegetable group. Great job, everyone. Hope you enjoy all the foods that God made for you, especially some yummy, crunchy veggies. Have a great week and make healthy choices. I don't know about you, but all this talk about food is making me hungry. I think I need to go find a snack to eat. I'll, I'll make sure it's healthy like Nurse Stacy suggested. I always like to bring some fruit along for when I'm feeling hungry. Our bodies need food and exercise in order to be healthy. But even more important is our need to know the truths from the Bible. I hope you spend time reading from God's Word or having someone else read to you. The Word of God is filled with everything we need to be saved. God wants all of us to be part of His family. And remember what Romans 10, 13 says? Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Everyone. I hope you'll join us again next week on the same channel. Until then, remember that Jesus loves you and He is always with you. Yes, Jesus loves you.